is Jaron Walker. I am the Special Projects Coordinator and Subscription Manager here at D-Sport Magazine. You guys might remember my Project Program EK that was on the cover of February 2008. When we set out to build the Project Program EK, it was to build a streetcar that was capable of running 10 second passes just by changing the tire setup from street tires to slick tire. I didn't have a trailer at the time, so I would take it to the track, throw all my tools in it, me and my little brother would hop in, throw the slicks in the back, drive all the way to the track like an hour away, put the slicks on, take all the tools out, gas the car up, and it turned into like this machine that was just able to consistently run 10 second after 10 second pass you know that's what was so cool about the car everyone's like oh you know you don't trailer your car to the track you know you just bring it the way it is and you run it and I believe that's the way you should have to do it if your car's a true street car then it shouldn't ever have to be on a trailer unless it's broken some of my favorite things about the Civic I was just really fast on the street stoplight to stoplight it was really quick I was one of the first people to get the towel 60 millimeter wastegate when it came out and that was one of the things that helped solve the boost problems. I really liked the exhaust because it was off of a Toyota Supra. It was an apex muffler that we turned upside down to fit and it was a huge muffler with like it had a four inch tip and it had like a dump tube. It looked like a exhaust off of a bus and the roll cage. Uh, Gary over at Design Craft Fabrications did the roll cage and I'm six foot six and I told him I said I want a roll cage that I can fit into rather easy and he did all of those things without hacking up my car too much but he still he got the cage to fit in there that was one of the cool things and actually the, it's a funny story behind the the paint of that car one of my best friends uh, Sean Griffin who's also our paint and body guy here at D Sport and we were gonna originally paint it the color of a Range Rover and we went to look at the Range Rover cost of the paint was like through the roof so we went to eat lunch and we decided to think about it. At the time I was really heavily into Heineken beer so we got some Heinekens and we're sitting there at lunch watching cars go by looking at different car colors and I was like fiddling with the Heineken bottle cap and I looked at the cap and I was like this is the color and we went back to the paint store and we gave the, the cap to the guy and said hey match this and he color matched the bottle cap and when I saw the paint in liquid form I like freaked out because I had to buy it and once we put it on the car I realized like it was like the right decision. It was such a good color. It stood out just enough to where you would see it, but it wasn't too like out there. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do with the Civic. I would love to get a nine second pass out of the car. It could have been a nine, nine, nine. Like it, I just wanted a single digit pass out of the car. So I think with a little more seat time and a little more power, I could have had a consistent nine second car that was driven to the track. So that was one of the things that was a disappointment to me is that I didn't get to run the number that I wanted to. Unfortunately, I sold the Civic and it was probably one of the worst decisions I made in my life. You know, building these race cars isn't cheap and a lot of money goes into it and time. And so I sold it. <laughs> I miss it so much. It's gone. I can't get it back. A lot of our readers hit me up and they're like, hey, whatever happened to your Honda? Like, why'd you get rid of it? And it's like one of those things, it brings back memories every time I see the car or someone brings it up. I didn't know I'd be one of those guys, like later down the road, like people would know me for the car that I built. And I, I love that people still ask me to this day, like, oh, what's up with the Civic or what happened to it, you know? That just lets me know that people pay attention and what I did was an actual cool thing to them. And for them to relay that back to me is, is a really cool. You like that? I did. <laughs>